This is the Work Smart Hypnosis Podcast, session number 260, Hypnotic Evolution Through Coronavirus. Welcome to the Work Smart Hypnosis Podcast with Jason Lynette, your professional resource for hypnosis training and outstanding business success. Here's your host, Jason Lynette. Come gather around, people, wherever you roam, and admit that the waters around you have grown, and accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone if your time to you is worth saving. And you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone, for the times, they are a-changing. I almost began that by saying somebody once said, but no, that was Bob Dylan. Let's not somebody that one. Let's not go nonspecific. Hey, it's Jason here, and let me set the stage for you and kind of set the goal of this week's episode. It's March. It's 2020, and we're kind of in the beginning stages of everything with the scare of uh, coronavirus and many people around the world getting sick and the recommendations of social distancing, the recommendations to shut down non-essential businesses, preventing a lot of uh, live events, which are postponing or canceling. And, and my goal is that this specific podcast episode is just going to be a footnote in time, just a little bit of a marker, a little bit of a tunnel in history, because I am optimistic that all of this is going to pass. And my urge and a lot of where I'm going to go in this week's episode is that of choosing to move forward. Because there's enough stuff out there stoking fear and creating a lot more concern, which, yes, we, we should be concerned about what's going on and acknowledge that this is a time to innovate. What I'd encourage more than anything else is those of you on social media, you know, check the stuff that you're sharing. There's a lot of bad information that's going around, you know, whether it's if you could hold your breath for 10 seconds, that's a good test to see if you have this, which no, uh, <laughs> So be careful with what you share. And let's use this as a time again to innovate, to evolve, to move forward. And I'm going to give you some specific strategies to do so inside of this week's episode. And my, my sort of mindset, the way that I tend to think about things, some of the greatest moments of innovation came out of hardship. So to look at the ways that films and movies really flourished right after the Great Depression, to look at the ways that music and culture really expanded after times like the Vietnam War, you know, the way that, again, on this wartime theme somehow seems uh, applicable here, that, you know, international borders and cultures coming together as a result of times of conflict. So I've been saying for years, this is what launched the Work Smart Hypnosis podcast, the world has become a whole lot smaller. And some of us were ready for this. Some of us have been doing sessions online, educational events online. This became a moment where some of the dinosaurs in the industry had a bit of a wake-up call that they were not as prepared as they could have been. So the specific goal of this week's episode is to give you some languaging, to give you some resource, to share some opportunities that are coming up. So this is going to be probably one of the more resource heavy podcast episodes that I've done in quite some time. So you can actually head over to worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online. And if you look at that word now online, no space, it doesn't matter if it's all caps or lower caps. So worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online. I'm going to give my podcast editors a little bit of time off this week because I'm actually recording this only a day and a half before launch. And because of that, I'm going to take care of the show notes and formatting of the online content because really this one's going to be about a lot of resources. That's my goal to give you a lot of stuff you can put into use right away. So I'll give you an overview of where we're going with this. I'm going to give you some specific languaging you can use to pivot a lot of your sessions online. I'm going to share with you some specific technology recommendations that are out there that you can use. We're going to talk about the modifi modifying of modify is that a word? Modifying of education and some examples of what many of us have been doing for years and well everybody else is time to catch up and then also how to better yourself along the way. In addition to that, we've actually uh, I'll, I'll give you a metaphor here and this some of these correlations are a little bit darker than what I prefer them to be. I worked for a theme park company when 9-11 hit, and that was a time where many of the other companies pulled back, and a few companies doubled down and did more. And those were the ones that were surviving, those were the ones that flourished, and those were the ones that were giving people what they needed. So in the last couple of days, I've made it a point to actually double down on some of my efforts. We're scheduling more online events. 
I'm doing even more online sessions and private consulting. So really, this is a time to push forward. And again, of course, follow all the recommended uh, guidance and all of that. So really, even though my goal is that this specific episode this week is just going to be a little bit of a tunnel in history, there's some specific strategies that you're going to find are going to really help you out along the way. That being said, if you are listening to this upon launch, a couple of events that are coming up, which are all happening online. And many of these were ones that were happening anyway, just, hey, the timing was a wonderful coincidence. Karen Hand, who happens to be my favorite hypnotist, don't tell the others, are doing an event specifically on scriptless hypnosis, outcome-based strategies for powerful change. So this is going to be a workshop about conversational change and influence. You can find the details of that on the show notes for this website. Basically, I'm going to share one link the entire way through this where everything I'm going to reference down to resources and video tutorials, it's all going to be online at worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online. So that scriptless event is happening on Sunday, the 22nd. But even if you're listening after the fact, we are going to permanently archive that material and that'll be available as a digital program well after the event. I've been doing the Work Smart Hypnosis live event in my office like four or five times a year live at Virginia Hypnosis or even around the country, even around the world. And typically, in April, once a year, I offer the class online. Well, how's that for timing? So uh, you can actually get trained and certified as a professional hypnotist in real time, interactively in a hybrid course, for the most part, online, which again, check out that worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online page, where you'll see the details for that. And we were already planning on doing this anyway. Richard Nongard and I are partnering together once more. We've done the Train the Trainer event for the ICBCH as a live in-person interactive event. And for the first time, he's been doing it solo as a online event, but for the first time, it's the two of us joining together and doing that Train the Trainer event online, which already we've got folks signing up from the US, from Europe, from Australia. It's a real international event. Or even better to those of you that need some assistance and want to work on some personal things or consult a few things for your business, simply head over to the website. We'll just give you the direct link for this one, virginiahypnosis.com forward slash call, C-A-L-L. That's we'll, uh, is where you can actually schedule time specifically with me. And you'll see that we uh, sort of re-engineered that form. So you can use that to talk about education. You can use that to talk about personal change, private business consulting. I'm here for you. So a couple of options there. We're going to link to all of that over at worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online. And with that, let's get into four or five specific points of how you can innovate and move forward. Here we go. Episode number 260, Hypnotic Evolution Through Coronavirus. And here we go. I've got four or five main points that I want to share with you. And there's some specific languaging here inside of this content, which again, that now online link I keep referencing, this is just going to be copied and pasted there. So you can use this exactly as is. So for the most part, Virginia hypnosis has been running business as usual with one exception, we've pivoted all of the appointments to be online. And I'm going to give you the specific languaging that I've used for that. And really, I haven't really had anybody cancel on me. I will say that the inquiries for new appointments in terms of hypnotic sessions is maybe down a small percentage, but not much, because again, I've already been doing a ton of online work the last couple of years, so for the most part, business as usual. So those of you out there that do have scheduled appointments and you want to pivot people over, which I'll give a reference, uh, what kind of inspired this week's episode was a video that I put up on Facebook. It got several thousand views. Then we just added it to YouTube and emailed it out. And we'll link to it in the show notes here at worksmarthypnosis.com. Let me actually add this into my hit list here for the show notes there. We'll add in that YouTube link of that video I talked about because really it's a simple pivot to invite people to move from the live in person to the live online. And I shared these in hypnoticbusinesssystems.com. I shared these in those communities, yet let's give them to everybody. So the first one is the exact email that I've been using to pivot people from the in-person to the online. The second one is one that I sort of scripted out for people in uh, different environments. So here's the option number one. You're going to love the customization here. Dear client, insert their name here, we are following the recommendations of Fairfax County and conveniently moving all hypnosis sessions online this week. 
Hypnosis sessions done live through online video conference are just as effective as in person. I've been seeing clients around the world and locally in this format for years, and it's as easy as clicking a link and we're immediately connected. Here's a link for our appointment tomorrow, and I look forward to seeing you soon. I put the link there. Talk soon, Jason. And there's the one that I've been using for a few others who wanted to do a little bit more, oh, let's use it appropriately, external blaming. Here's the one I crafted and they've been using as well. Dear client, we are following the recommendations of the CDC to prevent gatherings of more than 50 people. Even though your scheduled session is just the two of us, the building in which my office is occupied is home to several dozen businesses, and I suggest we modify the appointment tomorrow. The good news is that research has found hypnosis sessions through real-time video conference is just as effective, if not more, than sessions done in person. We're fine to keep our schedule as is tomorrow. The link below will work from your computer, tablet device, or even smartphone. I put the link there. Alternatively, we can also go low-tech with a phone session. If you have any further questions, please hit reply or email me back. I look forward to seeing you live and online at, insert the time here, talk soon, your name. Which again, I'm going to put those two specific scripted out passages in the show notes over at that now online link. So the benefit of this is, is again, I've not really had anybody cancel on me. If anything, you know, let's call it out. The millennial age range is very familiar with this as a technology, though even yesterday I had a client in her late 70s that we'd met together in person several times. And the moment we connected, she was just just amazed that this was possible. And we'll talk about some of the technologies that I use inside of that. I'd reference to, and again, we'll just do a screenshot of this because I'd imagine in a month or two, this will all be on the way towards passing. But on the Virginia Hypnosis website, I did put a little bit of a footer banner that pops up on most of the pages, and it says, Hypnosis is just as effective through online video as it is in person. Click here to schedule the time to talk about your goals by phone. And that just redirects over to the uh, call page that's on the Virginia Hypnosis site. So basically, I've said this for years. How do you do more online sessions? Put it on your website. And I did purposefully take something like this down a while ago because I am working at capacity with Virginia Hypnosis. So uh, this seemed to be the good time to just call it out ahead of time and just say, here's how we work together. And there it is. So that should be on the Virginia Hypnosis website if you're listening to this in probably March or April of 2020. But still, for the sake of uh, historical anecdote... We'll put a screenshot of that in the show notes at worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online. So how do I run my sessions? This has popped up by several people and buckle up for my answer. Basically the same way I normally do. And this really hits a premise that if you treat something as being weird, it will be picked up as weird. If I treat it as being the absolute normal way of working, which for many of us it is, then it's completely fine. You know, the obvious statement, and this doesn't require hypnosis education to say this next statement, deal with what emerges and modify as appropriate because I cannot reach through the screen and pick up your arm and do a Dave Elman floppy arm drop, obviously. However, a little bit of creativity and you've solved the problem. And go ahead now through the comfort of those closed eyes and lift up that hand a few inches. And when I say now, you can just let that arm plop back into your lap and whenever we do that let it take you even deeper relaxed go ahead lift that on up and now relax even deeper down is it the same technique no of course not obviously can we modify and use it the same way absolutely simple creative thinking so i never want to ask the question of which one's better instead i want to ask myself what can i do differently in this platform to make it just as effective, if not better. This this was the whole legacy. This was the whole backstory to work smart hypnosis. I was asked to be the megaphone at one point to come out and say, video sessions are bad. Online education is not the way of the future. And um, no, that's just wrong. <laughs> and I think again, back to Bob Dylan, the times they are a changing, and many of us were ready for this. And it was the dinosaurs that were not and I hope they catch up. So if these are things that you're not currently doing, my goal of this episode is to give you some of the specific strategies to make this effective. Now, one little nuance that I do in my online sessions, and I tell people as I do this, and here's the metaphor that introduces it. So all of these video messaging platforms are like a straw. 
and only so much of the milkshake will fit through at a time, which is why, click, you may have noticed I just turned off my video feed, and it just shows you my photo, because this reduces the bandwidth and it makes it more reliable that our connection won't be dropped, and it makes the audio recording of this even better. And even in our age, talk about good timing, it was two months ago that our internet at home was 50 megabytes down, 50 megabytes up, and we recently upgraded to gigabit internet, which is like a thousand down and 750 up. That was good thinking, now wasn't it? That even though I've got amazing internet, only so much again of the milkshake fits through at a time, and I can reduce my risk of the call dropping, the connection failing, by reducing that bandwidth. And I have found anecdotally the audio is a little bit better, and this is even when I'm hardwired into the wall at my office with the same gigabit service, which in that location, am I nerding out on you yet? In that location, I've got like 1,500 down and 1,200 up, sometimes 2,000 up, which is amazing for doing, you know, uploading big videos. So technology aside, which we're going to hit more of, I do turn off my video feed during the session. I do like that I can see my client. I can see at least one of their hands for some idiomotor work. If I can't, I drop the idiomotor stuff and I just do a head nod. Again, deal with what emerges. Ask yourself, what can I do here rather than what can I not do? And in terms of uh, that audio, I can then pull out the audio and I can send it over by email. I can send a Dropbox link. Although here's something I've been doing for about two years. Because even in 2020, it's still difficult to put music on your phone. It's still difficult to do that. And part of the reason behind that is because most of these companies, Apple makes so much music money, money by selling music. And part of their licensing rights is that you can't, you know, easily just share files, which does make it difficult to put stuff on your phone. So I've been doing this for years now. I upload the audio as a video to YouTube. Now, there's nothing on the screen other than just my logo as a placeholder. It doesn't really count as promotion because it's an unlisted video, but we put together the audio with that logo image, and this makes it so no matter where they are, as long as they've got a connection, they can play the YouTube video link and they can hear me. As simple as that. Which, again, there's never the intent to use that for promotion. I use my, uh, the title of the video is typically just the file name which is just the date, VA hip, which is my shortcut for Virginia hypnosis, and usually just like some shortened version of the client's initials. So even if someone did find the video, you know, the audio, there's really nothing to be heard. You know, could I maybe use something more secure, probably like a unlisted Vimeo link, but again, because nothing is said about the client, and again, because I'm not using their name, that's secure enough in my honest opinion. Others may disagree with that, but Here's what's working for me right now. I'll give you a nuance here, which would be that anytime you give someone a specific set of instructions that they might not be able to follow, you have given them an out as to an excuse as to why it won't work for them. So do I think it would be a better experience to listen to the audio or do the session with headphones on? Yes, absolutely. But I also know the power of placebo, the opposite, nocebo. If they suddenly can go, oh, but I don't have headphones. I've given them an out as to an excuse as to why it won't work. So I don't give specific instructions. All I say is, no matter where you are, the moment you click the link, whether it's connecting with me or listening to the replay, you can use it in that format. Keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. Now let's complicate it and talk about technology. And again, some of the resources I'm going to reference here are going to be in that worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online page, which that's just a redirect over to the show notes, which I'm going to be crafting this week. That's my project today and tomorrow. So some of the technologies, equipment, you are listening to me right now on a Blue Yeti microphone. Nearly every episode of the podcast was recorded with my Blue Yeti microphone. It's a $100 US microphone, which uh, I've got one at my office. I've got one at home. It's outstanding. It's cheap. It's one of the best investments you can possibly make. Yes, there's other microphones out there that others may endorse, yet hypnosis business guinea pig, here's the one that I use. In addition to that, you can use the uh, a webcam that's on your computer. Most computers, even desktops, are now coming preloaded with webcams. I will say very often to buy an external webcam, you get better quality. And we'll link to the one that I'm currently using as much as, oh, I hate this next statement. I fully loaded an Apple iMac desktop 
with the highest possible RAM, the best possible video card, the biggest hard drive I could buy, and that thing was $5,000, and still I had to go to Staples and spend 50 bucks on a Logitech webcam to make the video quality better. And this is true I found across a lot of different platforms. You can even do, I mean, the remote sessions with your phone. You know, very often that's in a much better camera than most of what we used to buy. So webcam, whether it's the one already on your computer, your phone, your tablet device, or spend 50 bucks for a webcam, Logitech tends to be the brand of choice. You're good to go. The platform that is winning the game as of right now in March of 2020, can you hear the stomping upstairs? I'm at home. That's my kids. Is Zoom. Zoom does offer a free option. However, my consistent thinking is for something that's only $15 a month that makes it so much better and gives you much better capabilities, spend the money. So Zoom is the leading online video conferencing platform right now, which I use this for my one-to-one -one sessions or the events that are coming up. I mean, the live online Work Smart Hypnosis course, the event I'm doing with, with Karen Hand, the Train the Trainer event that I'm co-hosting with Richard Nongard. Even if you work with me directly, we're going to use Zoom for that. You know, so this is the platform that's just winning. There's no limits in terms of how much you use it over the course of a month. There are limits if you're recording the content to the cloud, which I never do. They have that as an option. I just record directly to my computer because then it's a little faster and I've got better control over the content. And even better for these interactive events like the hypnosis training or the scriptless event with Karen... You know, we have the ability to have upwards of 100 people in a room, highlight people, bring them into the conversation. And for like the live online event, the, the hypnosis training and certification course, suddenly I can click a few buttons and break everybody out into one to one practice groups, which when you watch the video about that live online certification course, the last time I did this. I had someone in upstate New York practicing with someone up in Washington State. I had someone in Georgia, in the U.S., practicing with someone just outside of Dublin, Ireland. The world has become a whole lot smaller, and it's amazing how well these technologies run. Even better, as the instructor, I can bounce around to those separate groups and monitor their practice and give specific feedback, and then click the button again and bring everybody back into the same room. This is so cool, and this already was the way of the future, and we are in the future right now. Thanks, Bob. The times, they are a-changing. In terms of that video screenshot, which, by the way, I did get a request from someone about, how do you do your uh, Zoom setup? I will reference something I have not yet done. In the next couple of weeks, I may be moving away from the Schedule Once platform for my online booking instead to Calendly. And actually with uh, tools like Zapier, and I'm getting a little bit too tech heavy at the moment, with those platforms, there is an option to integrate your Zoom account into them where it will auto-generate that video conference link. That being said, it takes me 15 seconds to create one manually, so I'm okay with that, and that's what I've been doing recently. But I will put up in the show notes, that now online link, a video walkthrough of exactly how I set up the live Zoom link. So that's something you're going to be able to watch. I had a couple of people request that, and we'll put that in the notes here at the show notes too. If I'm doing that YouTube production, that's when I'm using either screen recording video editing software, and I'll give you two options, which I use both of them. Camtasia is one option, and ScreenFlow is the other. ScreenFlow, I believe, is specific to Apple. Camtasia is both on Windows and Apple. I have been using ScreenFlow more consistently recently. I will say that Camtasia, I was having some issues with an external microphone and an external webcam, and the video was getting out of sync. As soon as I bought ScreenFlow, which both of these softwares are about $100, I think, or somewhere between $100 or $200, and again, invest the money, you're going to make it back even faster. ScreenFlow has been the one that I've been preferring because it doesn't have that syncing issue. So there you go. Those are some of the technology recommendations. So I've already mentioned some upcoming events. And again, many of these are going to be archived into the permanent collection, as we now say at WorkSmartHypnosis.com. There's the scriptless event, which is happening March 22nd. Myself and Karen Han, a four-hour deep dive into conversational influence and strategies for customized hypnotic techniques. There's also the upcoming 
interactive Work Smart Hypnosis live certification course happening live and online. There's the Train the Trainer event with Richard Nongard, which we're doing online, which again, we're using Zoom for all of these. And the breakout option, this is that game changer of a moment where suddenly this is what's teaching you how to do those online sessions as well, where you're working interactively with somebody else and you get to modify based on that environment. So in the last couple of hours, I got an email that the IMDHA was moving their Hypno Expo to be virtual and online. You know, Richard Nongard and Scott Sandlin have been pioneers of this for years by doing virtual summits and virtual online conventions. And we're just seeing again, it's not a matter of, is this viable? No, it already was, and it's already working. And it's time to look at the the whole legacy. I, I said this earlier, the whole legacy of work smart hypnosis was I was asked at one point by a large group to be the megaphone, to be the guy to come out and say, Online education is bad and video sessions are bad, phone sessions are bad, which, um, no, they're not. No, this is where we are. This is where many of us already were, and it's time for the rest of you all to catch up. That's why I'm sharing these resources and giving you some of the specific languaging here and so many of us out there too. I mean, Michael DeShallot does a class on virtual hypnosis. Michael Watson does a class on virtual hypnosis. Richard Nongard and I are talking about right now about doing a course specifically about more, you know, going deep dive in some of the skills about how do you modify based on this. Though throughout much of hypnotic workers in my life trainings, we've talked about this for years. So again, stop the game of is it good? because it already was. And instead, ask yourself, how do I modify? How do I move things forward? There's many people out there, uh, folks who have been on the podcast before in various formats. Who We have Lori Hammond, primarily works online. I know a bunch of people who have been on here. That's their mode of choice. It just works. Karen Hand does a lot of sessions online. Scott Giles does a ton of sessions online. It's already there. Time to catch up. So education. I mean, here's the story of this in perfect timing. It is March 17th right now as I'm recording this, and exactly three years ago, I was in Las Vegas with Sean Michael Andrews, and that's where we presented the Master Hypnotist course, which three dozen people in the room sold out event, and we had the cameras running, and then we produced that as an online digital product. And we've been selling that for years now over at masterhypnotistcourse.com. And we had 36 people at the event in total, And now several hundred have gone through it interactively online and have been going through the exam, have been going through the content, and we can produce a similar event. And yes, I'm going to say it, the live hands-on experience is, I'd still still say, the preferred option. I'm not going to back down from that. Yet, through a little bit of creativity, we can be nearly as effective, and it actually gives us some benefits far beyond. So to look at how produce something once, it becomes a thing the rest of your life. Hey, perfect timing. Back in January, the folks inside of hypnoticbusinesssystems.com, we did a four-part webinar series on passive income streams, product creation strategies. Good timing, right? Hey, those of you in business systems, get a hold of that and start doing that right away. So that's been everything in terms of hypnosis and technique. And as the stomping upstairs is getting louder, let's bring this in for the close to use this time for yourself. And I think, you know, as always, the mindset is there's no such thing as finding the time, there's only making the time. And this has become an opportunity in our history that we've been forced to make the time for a number of things, whether it's simply being prepared, being mindful of our health. I will go off on a mild rant for a moment that, again, I'm always one to look at how do we become evidence-based, how do we do things based upon science, So there's a reason why you haven't seen me put out a immune boosting audio, because let's look at the big three, stress, smoking, weight. Let's add into this things like general exercise and nutrition. You know, let's get a little bit more specific rather than, you know, sort of abundance thinking of going, oh, let me just will it to myself. No, this is the time to be doing your best to be eating healthy. You know, I'm not going to the gym right now, so uh, dusted off my P90X3 DVDs. Remember DVDs, folks? We were so young. And I'm doing that program once again as I did it like seven years ago. That was humbling. Haven't done that specific program in a while. And ow, as I'm now deadlifting three times my weight, but now jumping around in my basement in front of the television. Yeah, 
So uh, using this time, we're, you know, reading with the kids, we're keeping them active and taking them out, of course, to the field in our neighborhood and, you know, doing some things. So use this as a time to better yourself, to better your family. And again, I'm certain I'm optimistic and I encourage you to join me in that, that yes, there's cause for alarm, there's cause for fear, but there's also cause to be optimistic and we're going to find that new normal very soon. And again, my hope is all of this is just going to be a temporary tunnel. We're going to learn some things as a society. We're going to come closer together as a result of it. And there's some technologies that are truly going to innovate and get better as a result of all of this. So use this as a time for yourself. Use this as a time to join with others. That's why I've scheduled these upcoming events, whether it's the ones with uh, Karen Hand, my own live and online hypnosis training course, the Train the Trainer event I'm doing with Richard Nongard, or if you want to connect with me, again, virginiahypnosis.com forward slash call. Just use that link. That's the best way to get in contact with me. So use this time for yourself. Use this time to grow better. Use this time to hypnotically evolve. Hey there, Jason Lynette once again, and thanks for sticking with me for a bit of a different style episode this week. And I'd encourage you, if you've got questions on this content, genuinely go back and listen to it again. And it's where I'm going to do a lot more detail and resource building in the show notes, which is where everything I've referenced is over at worksmarthypnosis.com forward slash now online. That's the one link that's going to show you everything, whether it's the event that's happening very soon or archived and available for digital purchase, the scriptless event that I'm doing with Karen Hand, who happens to be my favorite hypnotist. You all heard me. Uh, then in addition to that, the Work Smart Hypnosis Live online certification course that's linked over at that now online page. We'll direct over to the Train the Trainer event, which again, this is not retreating and running away. These are all events we were talking about doing Anyway, just the timing was wonderfully coincidental and convenient. The Train the Trainer event for the ICBCH, those of you wanting to offer hybrid courses, online education, as you've heard I'm doing, those of you wanting to reach a bigger audience and be able to learn how, here's how the Train the Trainer works with Richard and I. We don't give you a curriculum and tell you you have to do this. We do give you a list of core competencies your students need to have and our train the trainer is really a bit more of an onboarding to help you to springboard your own hypnotic training course. And once you hit our criteria, then you're able to offer the ICBCH professional certification. This is the way of the future. This is the way that hypno hypnosis is progressively going. And again, those of you who want a little bit more one-to-one -one work, whether it's private consulting, whether it's personal services, I know a lot of my clients have found me by way of this podcast, so let's reference it here too. It's going to be linked at that now online link or just go directly there, virginiahypnosis.com forward slash call, C-A-L-L. -L. That's where you can schedule a specific time that I'll call you back guaranteed and we can get to work soon. I'm Jason. Thanks for listening. Share your feedback for this one over on Facebook or shoot me a message by email or Facebook message as well. And I'll see you all in person, I know, very soon. Thanks for listening to the Work Smart Hypnosis podcast at worksmarthypnosis.com. Hey there, it's Jason, and I want you to be one of the first to find out as we upload amazing new content. So do this right now. Click the subscribe button right here on this video. That's going to link you to our YouTube channel here, and you will be the first to find out as new resources and downloads are made available. Do it now.